Good afternoon. Today we are going to make a little program in Ruby. And we will be learning how to do unit testing. So first I'm here on my on my terminal on Linux. So we are going to create a little directory for program. And we are going to call it fan. And we change the directory to fan. And then we open this awesome beam editor. <coughs> so the first thing to do when we want to do unit testing is to load uh, something to help us to do it. In Ruby, this is a library called test unit, I believe. So we are going to call it. We are we are going to call require, and then test unit. Oh yeah, we forgot to give it a name. So we are going to give a name to our file, and we are going to call it fun animals. Anonymous.rp. Alright. So the first thing to do in test driving development is to create a test. So that's what we are going to do. We are going to create a class test animals and this class extends test unit test case okay so we now have our class based on test case and here inside we are going to have a a method called setup the setup method is called by the file in test case it helps us to create the uh, objects of of classes so we can make the test over those objects or instances so we are going to create one cat which is going to be cat new and one dog which is going to be dog new alright uh, we want to test this cat and dog so we are going to define a method called test cat another method called test dog inside of cat we are going to make an assert assert equal and we want our cat to say We want that when we call cat say to return us meow meow. So we <laughs> meow meow, and we want to assert that dot say uh, returns woof 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 woof. Okay. So now we have our test and uh, we are going to run it. ERP phone animals. Okay, it's telling us that we don't have a cat. Uh, just here in line 6, we don't have cat. So we have to define this cat. Okay. Okay, so we go to line 2 and uh, we create a class called cat class cat. And we are also going to need a, a class call dog so okay Bam. so we create the two classes alright we run IRE again uh, for animals okay so now it's telling us that online 
17 and 21 we have some problems there uh, for example for dog we don't have name in the final local variable or method name dog oh yeah I'm calling dog but the variables are distance variables that means they are followed by an arroba so here on line 12 I make those variables distance variables so now I run again and it's telling me oh yeah I also have to change the names on the line 17 and on the line 21 okay no problem it's okay to make mistakes so we run again or script and it's telling us okay that's better on line 21 and 17 we don't have the method say on each of those classes okay here it says no on the find method say for talk so it's pretty clear we don't have say in talk so what you're going to do is to define this method uh, what if okay so def say and I know dog will net will net to to barf, you know. So <laughs> I call say to uh, I make a, a method called say on dog too. So okay, so we run our text. we run our script. Uh, no, it's all red. That means all the syntax is correct, all the classes exist, and all the methods are there. But but there is there is something something that is wrong we can see that we we have to test two assertions and two failures so okay uh, 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 uh. this is wrong when we call assert we first not pass what we need which is the second parameter here Okay, so we are going to to first fix our test because our test is work. Okay, on line twenty two, I need to delete until the comma. Okay, um, okay. Mm. I have an extra space here. I want to delete it. Okay, that's how it should work. On 26 we have the same mistake. So we are going to delete it. And uh, 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 uh. we are going to put it here. Okay, log dot say. Okay, we run our test again and that's how it should work, it says. Woof woof was suspected on line 26 and also above here this the same mistake but did the, the method say for the for the cat so we are going to fix first dog okay so we go into the class dog on line 9 and we had another line and we right here you know dog show return Woof, woof. All right, and now we run our test, and and we have only one failure. So, fifty percent paste. That means we fix our dog. Now we have to fix our cat, and the problem is we were expecting meow meow, and the method say return nil. So we have to did the method say on our class cat. All right, so we go to the cat and we return meow 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 meow. Okay. Uh, I think this is wrong because there is a missing Q here. Okay. And now we run our test and everything is happy our test is passing 
100% passed to test, to search, and that's how you do unit testing on Ruby. And this is how test driving development works. You first make your test, and then you build your systems based on this test. Okay, thank you very much, and see you soon.